All right, y'all, what's going on? Welcome back to the video. Sorry about the dog just barking behind me. He always does that. A little something different today. These last four days I've been up here at the BP compound, we've had nothing but rain. We're going to have like another four days of rain. It's just, it's been terrible, but we're going to have some hunting content coming out this week. We have a special guest coming in too. This morning, Brandon's going to take Britain. They're going to go ride around on the X3, get that thing all disgusting and nasty. So I'll be taking care of it once they get back. In the meantime, I'm going to go over there to old Garrett Porter's house. You guys know Garrett. Help him out with his dream truck. He's been trying to build this for a little while and, um, He's actually got some parts coming in now, so there's a couple things we have to do over there. I'll explain that once we get there. That's what the plan's gonna be today. That's what you guys are gonna watch, so let's go uh, Let's go help Garrett. Maybe do a little bit of power washing at the end. Also, too, this morning, we had a little bit of a surprise walking out here into the shop. How this happened, I have absolutely no clue, but we gotta deal with it. We traced it, followed it down, and oh yeah, that is nothing but oil. I guess one of her jugs just randomly just exploded. I don't know how, but yeah, it's leaking from up there and it came all the way down the counter to the floor. Cat litter is the best thing to use for that. Kind of just absorbs up any oil, so we got that down on it right now. We might not have enough, but we'll see what that does and uh, we'll take care of that later. Walking across the street to old Garrett's house, just looked at the, uh, the X3 with Braden and Bree. That thing is absolutely trashed. I went to the swamp. There is so much mud on that thing. It's not even, not even funny. So it's going to be fun to clean once we get back. But I actually like it to be pretty dirty. It's more satisfying for y'all to see all the mud come off. But walking across the street to Garrett's. I see him outside. Let's go see what we're getting into today. Came over here to Garrett's. I just helped him unbox a new hoodie he's putting on his truck. But Garrett, just tell me a little about the truck, man. I've Dude, shut it a couple my, times. My pride and joy pile of junk. <laughs> 2001 GMC Sierra 2500 frame gas. So it's got a six liter in it. It's got a hefty six liter in it. We've got, me and dad built it. Actually, dad built it for me when I was in boot camp. Yeah. I paid for everything and he just did all the work. Sounds good, she's man. Healthy girl. She just, she's got some problems with her. She's got some problems, but that's what we're here today. Me and Peter gonna put on that brand new hood. I bought some headlight housings for it and LEDs from Adrenaline Off-Road, dude. One step closer to getting this thing painted. Some 20s and 40s is what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be right. It's gonna look good, man. It's gonna look good. I'm glad Garrett has excitement because you guys know I love building trucks too. And um, I love these year models. There's, like, there's just something about I never noticed that you cut the hell out of that damn bumper. I sure did. Holy shit. Just to fit 20 by 12. I'm gonna fit. 20s and 40s. But you guys can see this truck's cam. It sounds extremely good. He ordered a cow hood. That's what Garrett wants to put on this truck. So I'm just going to be his helping hand today. These things can get pretty heavy. You need two people to adjust the hinges and stuff. So we're going to do that. I think you meant something about some headlights and stuff he wants to throw in too. So I'm going to be helping Garrett like with this body and stuff because you guys know I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at like doing my body work and I'm working on my K10 right now. And you guys know that truck is uh it's, it's pretty bad off. So this is this is just easy to do with him today. So let's go ahead and help him out and enjoy the time lapse. We got the hood on, dude. I'm, uh, it, it, it looks good. I'm just glad that Garrett's happy with the way it's looking because he's been wanting to get this truck right for for a while now, and uh, the, the cow hood it, it pulls it off. One thing I was just telling him though is that these uh, little fender flares you guys saw I ripped them off the red truck. They're absolutely terrible. If you're gonna repaint a truck, or honestly just do anything to a truck, prevent in the future what went wrong with it in presence. They hold moisture. They're gonna they're gonna make it rust, and they're honestly about to fall off. So. Garrett's gonna pull them off. Uh, you don't like the way it looks? Why did you keep them on for so long? Just because? Oh, uh, you know, because I'm lazy. There's one. one. They're breaking off. These things are these things are rough. So we're gonna pop these off and uh, take a step back and look at the truck and see how she looks. Mm-hmm. 
Jared actually bought him some clears. They look really good. They have that the, like, the halo strip in them too. So we're about to we're about to pop them in. So we're getting some stuff wired up. Um, you guys know these trucks. This is just what they do. When you start trying to put LEDs in them, even before this could have been an issue, but they don't like it. They don't like it at all. And that's just that's something we got to deal with. Uh, we got we got two burnt housings. That could be an issue. Those aren't working. And also we're having a flicker on this uh, on this on this side. It's it's as soon as you plug the light in, it gets power for a second, then it shuts off. So I think that one's bad too. It could be something actually grabbing around with the truck, a burnt wire somewhere, it could be scratched up. All the fuses are good. I just learned this a lot of ways. Check what's easiest, because most of the time that could be it. I've had a lot of fuse issues and try to replace everything. I want it just being a freaking 10 amp. So I'm gonna run to the storage, grab some stuff that we're gonna need, and hopefully this should fix the issue. If not, like I said, it could be something further down, but they need to be replaced either way. So let's run to the store. Right from the store, you guys see Garrett picked up all of his connections. We got a little more than what we needed just to be sure. So this light's flickering. Uh, we're gonna switch those out inside of those are burnt so we're just going to go through and just start splicing cutting getting everything we need and then i'm really going to pick you guys up whenever i start wiring for the headlights so the halos can come on we're going to have to do some some wiring some meeting into that fuse tap over there it's going to look good and it's going to turn out well so let's get to work i didn't film too much of it because we're just trying to mess around we're having a bad issue with uh with some wires this one's too blown out the connections didn't work when we were actually messing with it earlier we smelled something burning and i actually stopped and looked at garrett and said what's that smell dude and uh so i don't it, know i don't know we don't we don't know but it's something's definitely touching it's just it's just a wire that got nicked towards something else and uh it just it, it blew both of them so it is what it is but we wired everything up to garrett's ignition so when he turns his key which is super nice these lights are going to come on as soon as he turns his key off they're going to shut off garrett let me see oh yeah it looks good man my battery dead. That's clicking his batteries deck. I've been messing with this for a little bit, but either way, they're looking great. Having it wired to your ignition is just it's so nice. You don't have to use these don't even have an app, but normally gotta like for my custom uh, headlights, you gotta use an app every time I want them on. They get power once they're they ran to my ignition, so they'll get power, but I gotta turn them off the app. It's just nice to have it straight wired to the ignition, so he's got power all the time until he doesn't want to. So Super excited, we're gonna clean up here and um, probably jump to our next thing. All right guys, then so we're gonna end on doing some power wash and this thing is freaking uh, like swamp, dude. It's it's uh, it's pretty bad. It's gonna be satisfying for y'all to see how the mud comes off and whatnot, so. With that being said, we have the X3, we have the Honda. Their the Honda isn't as bad, but they're, they're both pretty bad. So let's see how good we can make this thing look with just a little bit of power wash and let's get to work. Alright y'all, the Honda's looking good. Step over to the X3 and this thing does wash up nice. It's just it gets so much freaking mud on in the tightest places ever, but inside's looking good. I'm happy with it. This one always cleans up pretty good. It's just really the plastic and dude, I keep on stepping in these mounds of shit. Literally, I literally parked right where the right, right where she goes. See ya. You little rat bastard. I normally pull them into the driveway, but one I'm out of gas and two, it's just it's so muddy out here. It's been muddy for the last four days, so. I'm not even going to try to pull them in right now. Just let them dry off out here. Maybe tomorrow I'll wash them off again and then we'll put them back in the shop. But uh, overall, guys, good video. I wanted to do a little bit of a little bit of power washing, but I also had a lot of fun going over there and helping Garrett with his truck. 
that boy's been trying to do that truck for so long and like the parts are starting to come in me and him are talking like i'm giving him ideas and um it's just nice to work with somebody that's why i offered 100 to go there with him today and just like have a helping hand there's there's no way to put on the hood by yourself and you can but i mean you're, you're, you're going to struggle love how i helped him wire up his truck too he was excited about the ignition switch so i'm glad that we were able to run out to the store today and get everything get everything right for him. i'm going to be helping out garrett pretty much every time i'm here with his truck because like I said, uh, you guys know I build my trucks too, and um, I just enjoy watching someone else do their hobby as well with their own build, so I want to be a part of it. I'm glad he was he let me do it. But like I said, y'all, this, this weekend we have a special guest coming into town. A lot of videos planned out there at the old Deer Club, so y'all be looking for that. I appreciate you watching. Until next time, Litton Bass TV. Well, that was easy.